Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about triple negative breast cancer. What is it? What does it mean? And how is it treated? Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, you can go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. Triple negative breast cancer is a term that is used to describe breast cancer that is negative for estrogen receptors, negative for progesterone receptors, and negative for the HER2 protein or gene. So all three of the markers that we look at in breast cancer are not present, so it's triply negative. Triple negative breast cancer is known to be more active or more aggressive than breast cancer that has the HER2 protein or is hormone receptor positive having the progesterone and or estrogen receptors. So in general, we think about triple negative breast cancer as having a worse prognosis. I do want to say that there are actually a couple different types of triple negative breast cancer in that some are very sensitive to chemotherapy and others are not as sensitive and we often don't know until we start treating somebody. Triple negative breast cancer is more common in people who have the BRCA1 mutation. BRCA mutations, whether it's one or two, are inherited from one or the other parent and sometimes both parents. You might want to check out our video about inherited susceptibility to breast cancer. Other people who are more likely to have triple negative breast cancer are people who are younger, under the age of 40. And in particular, black women are more likely to have triple negative breast cancer. So normally you're taking all breast cancers that are triple negative, about 10% of breast cancers are triple negative, and in black women, it's 20%. And it's not entirely clear why that's the case. It is not due to anything inherently wrong with black people, but rather more likely due to environmental factors that we have covered in some of our other videos. So let's talk first about surgery, because that usually comes to mind when people think about cancer. In triple negative breast cancer, people can have either a mastectomy or they can have breast conserving surgery. Triple negative breast cancer, just because it's more active, does not require a mastectomy. If it's a large tumor in a smaller breast, people may choose to have a mastectomy or if people have an inherited mutation that increases their risk of cancer in the other breast, they may actually choose to have a mastectomy of both breasts, called a bilateral mastectomy. And that's something if you have a BRCA mutation, you'll talk about with your medical team. We always look at lymph nodes in triple negative breast cancer. We don't omit the sentinel lymph node. So even if the nodes are normal in size and there's no abnormal lymph nodes on an ultrasound of the armpit, we will do at least a sentinel node biopsy in people with triple negative breast cancer because that tells us the stage of the cancer and that's important in deciding not only what treatment to get but how much. I'm gonna go next to radiation therapy and then we'll talk about systemic treatment. Radiation therapy is used in people who keep the breast. They have a breast conserving procedure like a lumpectomy or a wide local excision where we take out the tumor. And radiation therapy is also given to people with a larger tumor. For example, people with a tumor that's uh, more than five centimeters, that's about two and a half inches or so. So we will do radiation therapy in people with a large tumor and or positive lymph nodes, even if a mastectomy is done. And that's to decrease the risk of recurrence. Again, even if somebody's had a mastectomy, and certainly if somebody has a breast conserving surgery, radiation therapy would be part of that as well. Next, I'm going to talk about systemic treatment. Systemic treatment goes through your whole system. Just like if you take something when you have a headache, it goes through your whole body. A lot of things we take by mouth, we take because they affect the whole body. 
And chemotherapy and other systemic therapies are just like that. They go through the whole system and reduce the risk of the cancer coming back in other parts of the body. Just an important aside that HER2 directed therapy like trastuzumab and other drugs that are used in people with HER2 positive breast cancer, those do not work in people with triple negative breast cancer because there's no HER2 protein. Similarly, because there's no estrogen and progesterone receptor, hormonal therapy is not used in the treatment of triple negative breast cancer. So if you've been watching our met our videos on managing side effects of aromatase inhibitors or tamoxifen and you have triple negative breast cancer, those actually don't apply in your case. So different people look at it different ways. Some people say, I don't have to get this treatment. And other people say, I don't get to have this treatment. And you're, of course, welcome to view it any way you would like or both ways at the same time. Systemic therapy in triple negative breast cancer is often given before surgery. As I mentioned, some people have a tremendous response to chemotherapy where the tumor might disappear entirely and while surgery is still recommended because the cancer is likely still there, just not visible, it can decrease the extent of surgery that people have. And we can see how well the treatment works, which can be really informative as I'll tell you about more in just a moment. So, we give chemotherapy and sometimes targeted therapy before surgery, then we do surgery, and then we will give additional treatment throughout the whole system after surgery, depending on how much cancer is left. Triple negative breast cancer, I've already said, is negative for estrogen progesterone receptors and negative for HER2, and that it acts more um, aggressively. So what that means is when we treat triple negative breast cancer, all the things we've talked about in our other videos on maybe you don't need radiation therapy or maybe you don't need to have chemotherapy, those generally don't apply in triple negative breast cancer because we know that chemotherapy works and is really our only, other than some additional new therapies I'll talk about in a moment, that's really the mainstay of therapy, the main type of treatment in triple negative breast cancer in addition to surgery and radiation therapy is chemotherapy. The chemotherapy that we use is very similar to chemotherapy that we use in any breast cancer, although you may hear that some regimens are more effective than others. And if you go to yerba.com and get your personalized report, you can learn more about the regimens that might be offered in your case. So let's talk a little bit more about chemotherapy before surgery and what to expect and then what and when and who would get treatment after surgery. So check out our other videos on how chemotherapy is given. But when we give chemotherapy before surgery, we give chemotherapy for a few cycles or a few treatments, and then we can reassess and see how the tumor is responding. Now, every time you get chemotherapy, it's likely you'll see somebody on your medical team and they can tell you whether the tumor is shrinking or not, or if it's more movable than it was or not. And even if it doesn't get smaller, it's still very likely to be responding. But that can be really helpful. We don't do pictures, imaging like ultrasound or mammograms before every treatment because we often don't see on imaging on these tests that it's actually shrinking even when we feel it on exam. Before somebody goes to surgery, we will do pictures again to try to help plan that surgery and help us determine the extent of how much, is, how much cancer is left after you've already received treatment. And then you'll go to surgery, just like I mentioned at the top of this video. And then afterwards, after the area where the tumor was or any remaining tumor is, we can see how much is left. And we make decisions about what to do going forward if there's additional cancer left, which is very common. It doesn't mean the chemotherapy didn't work. There are two other types of medications that are used before I get to immunotherapy. Capecitabine is given to people who have high-risk disease, meaning lots of residual disease left, 
after chemotherapy. This is an oral medication that's taken for a few months and your medical team may offer this to you. And if you have a BRCA1 mutation, you may also be offered a laparib. And that's an oral medication taken for up to a year, only in people who have a BRCA1 mutation. Next, I'm going to talk about immunotherapy. Immunotherapy actually uses your body's own immune system and can evoke a tremendous response in terms of the cancer shrinking and dying. Immunotherapy in general is given along with chemotherapy. The particular immunotherapy that's being used in triple negative breast cancer is pembrolizumab, and we'll have the brand name on the screen as well. Pembrolizumab has been approved to treat people along with chemotherapy before surgery, and then if there's remaining disease after surgery, even after surgery, after the chemotherapy is over. So immunotherapy, which is this particular drug is given by IV, is given along with chemotherapy before people have surgery, and then can be continued alone without chemotherapy after surgery. So I'm not gonna go into all the side effects of immunotherapy right now, because it be, can be quite overwhelming, but as you can imagine, given with chemotherapy, you're gonna see the same side effects that we see with chemotherapy, as well as some additional side effects like an immune response in a lot of normal organs. I've covered a lot in this video. We've talked about what triple negative breast cancer is, what it means, who's more likely to get it, and all the different types of treatment. Don't forget that people who have triple negative breast cancer are eligible for genetic counseling and testing. So that's something else that makes triple negative breast cancer unique, and it can help determine the types of treatment that people will get. If this video has been helpful to you, like, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to yerba, go to yerba.com. You can drop a comment or a question below. We try to get back to you within one to two weeks. We love hearing your stories and your sharing them with other viewers is really great. So thanks for watching.